We are uh, going one-on-one -on -one with a legend in the broadcasting industry, Ernie Anastas, the author of the book, Ernie and the Big News. When did you know hmm. that becoming a news, I'm not even gonna say newscaster, a reporter, Sure. when did you know? Very, very early in my life. I used to sit underneath the kitchen table. I was probably about 10 years old. And I remember holding the radio to my ear. And I would listen to the radio announcer. And when he'd start to talk, I would turn the volume down. And then I had something in front of me or, or just ad lib. Right. And I'd say, well, now the weather is, you know, partly sunny and so <laughs> forth and so on. And then I'd be listening. And when they play the music, then I'd say, now let's go back to the music. And I'd turn the radio up. But the big turning point, I think, was when I was about 13. And, and this is one of the reasons why I love school and I, I appreciate teachers so much. I had a teacher in my homeroom. Her name was Evelyn Ryan. Miss Evelyn, Evelyn Ryan. Miss Evelyn Ryan. I'll never forget her. And I went to her after we had a career day and I was back in my homeroom and I said, Miss Ryan, you know, we listened to everybody today. We had a lawyer in there. We had a fireman. We had all these different people talking about jobs. I said, how do you decide on a career? How do you know what you're supposed to do with your life? And she looked at me and she used to call me Ernest. And she said, Ernest, <laughs> Whatever you enjoy doing will be the avenue to your success. And I said, it? Ms. Ryan, I said, what do you mean by that? She said, listen, what do you like to do in your free time? What do you do in your spare time? What do you do when you can do anything you want? I said, that's easy. I said, I play radio. I said, I'm downstairs in the basement. I have all my friends. She said, that's your passion. That's your natural passion and your love. She said, you have to pursue that because that will make you a happy person and you'll probably be successful at it as well. But she said, don't ever forget that. I, I tell children in the very beginning, live your dream. Become everything that you are. You don't necessarily have to be a broadcaster or be a journalist or television, but I said, whatever you are, find your gift. Passion. Every one of us has something inside. I said, and if you do, you'll, you'll be happier for it, but also try to make the world, Steve, a better place. If you have a sense of your purpose, it doesn't have to be some lofty thing. It just could be a sense of this is why I'm here. I'm making this a difference. This is why I'm here. This is why I live. That's right. I'm making a difference somehow. That's how I feel about my work.